Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our penultimate contest of the evening is in the Fight UK welterweight division, fought under 170 pounds. Here I am with Phil Flynn. Phil's on our pro card tonight. He's the penultimate fight of the, of the evening. He trains out of Manchester Predators and he's quite an experienced pro fighter. Phil, how are you feeling today, mate? Yeah, I feel really good, excited. Excellent. Now, um, obviously, you've got a lot of experience. Um, obviously, I'm not expecting nerves to uh, to creep in, you know, with regards to the size of the show. Um, but do you know anything about your opponent? How have you prepared for him? I just know he's a tough kid. I've seen a couple of his fights. I know he's not been beaten yet. Um, so I've just gone off that, looking for all sorts of options. Excellent. Well, obviously, MMA, anything can happen. So you sound pretty confident. You sound very well prepared. Manchester Predators, good gym. You've got some good guys up there. Yeah, I would assume they've been putting you through your paces. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's some really good guys. In fact, everyone up there is a good guy right now, uh, from amateur all the way up to pro. So yeah, they've, they've just been beasting me, really. Good stuff. Well, look, you sound confident. All that's left to say, really, mate, is wish you the best of luck, and I hope you do well tonight, and I look forward to seeing you in the cage. Thank you very much. First, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Manchester. He's 33 years old, stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, and weighed in at 170 pounds. He fights out of Manchester Predators and has a mixed martial arts record of 16 contests, 7 wins, and 9 losses. Let's hear it for Phil. Phil. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Leicester. He's 31 years old, stands six feet tall, and weighed in at 170 pounds. He fights for Team Roughhouse, and has a perfect mixed martial arts record of seven contests with seven wins. Let's hear it for Craig Duffer. Turn off. It is co-main event of the evening time here at Fire UK 10. Ben Cartledge alongside Dangerous David Letherby as we take yet another trip to the welterweight division. As Phil Flynn from Manchester Predators, black short 7-9 record, takes on one of the hottest prospects in the UK at the moment at this weight. Craig Turner from Roughhouse, blue shorts 7-0 record. Turner straight away looking to impose his will, Dave. Yeah, looks a very big unit at this weight, Ben, but Phil Flynn's definitely not a guy to be taken lightly. He's extremely experienced around the scene, but then there were some tough guys, and, you know, his losses are coming to tough guys as well, the likes of Paul Kirk, Uche, Hickway. So he, he's no joke, Phil Flynn, that's for sure, and uh, it, this match is a lot closer than it looks on paper, Ben, for me. Exactly, I mean, Flynn fought a lot of tough guys. Awful lot of tough guys. We've got some wins in there. Craig Turner, like you say, they're very big at the weight. Six foot four, I believe he stands, so exceptionally tall for Welter. Flynn swinging wild and heavy, but using it nicely to come in over. I can't help nursing Dave. It's the, the left knee of Turner. Yeah. He's got a support on that. We saw a few kicks from Flynn targeting that. I mean, is that something you think you'll, will, will play into part of his strategy? Yeah, I mean, why not? And Phil Flynn's an extremely experienced campaigner, Ben, so I'm sure he'd have had a look at that and, it, and he'll bear it in mind. But, I mean, Turner, he's got power in both hands. He's stopped a lot of people. I think this type of fight will suit Flynn. You know, he's, he's an experienced guy. He's got good grappling. He's got a few sub wins on his resume. I think if he can take it out of the boxing range and, you know, just make this a dirty fight on the inside, it'd be a good thing for Flynn. Flynn working a good game plan for me. He's throwing those nice knees to the body on the inside. Pushing this man off, and Turner didn't really like that. That's where Turner needs to be, on the outside, dictating the pace with those big shots, and we know he's got him. And just bullet his man to the floor. That's the power of Craig Turner. Yeah, very loose there from Phil Flynn. I'm surprised that, throwing the kicks, hands down low, just looked a little lethargic. Looks and like there's uh, a bit of blood from somewhere, Dave. Sorry, just to... 
And I think it might be from it might be from Turner. I think it is. Yeah, the eye of Turner. I think there, Ben. It's there on the left-hand side. Phil Flynn's got to be careful of the knees here. A real fast-paced scramble uh, as the fighters hit the floor. It could have been anything as either of them rolled over. It could have been a single shot. Another takedown from Turner, and that is bleeding quite a bit from the left-hand side. Yeah, Craig Turner. Phil um, Flynn, no stranger to these top positions, like you say, no stranger to a tough fight, aware of what he's got to do. And that cut as well will give him a little bit of confidence because it is in a bad spot. And if he can last these tough opening, opening minutes out, there's every chance that that cut's only going to get worse. Yeah, certainly. I mean, bottom position with a guy like Craig Turner on top of you is not where you want to be, though. He's an extremely powerful man. Has TKOs from ground and pound on his resume. But from Flynn's point of view, he, he has had subs in the past. I seem to remember him subbing Leroy Barnes off his back. He's, uh, like you say, an experienced awkward campaigner, Flynn. So Turner's certainly got his hands full, but he'll be happy here just to sit back in that half guard and continue raining down punches. And as we say that, Turner finding a home for the left, chopping away with those shots. Flynn covering up. He's got to do more in this position, really, for me, Dave. Because it's only got to take one of those big ones to go through, and we know he's got him. Yeah, he's got so much power, Turner. It's just not somewhere you can hang out. It does look like a lot of blood as well. Yeah, I think... Referee Dean Weir maybe having a close, well, and there's a close big look shot. at the cut, but he's going to be having a close look at Phil Flynn if this barrage continues. Phil's got to be careful with his neck in this scramble. Look at the power of someone like Turner from that position. Spinning around quickly to take the back. Flynn looking to try and get back to his feet if he can. He's just That's overwhelming his opponent, gone. isn't he, Ben? He's just overwhelming his guy right now. I think overwhelming is a really good term. And here's the mount position. This is a tough spot. Some big elbows. I can't see much longer from Flynn. He's very tough, but he's really not offering a lot of offense. And I say that as he rolls through. Somehow managed to survive that very tough spot. Dean Weir giving Turner a few warnings to the back of the head. And he switched the punches. Those are going to the back of the head. Referee he Dean Weir. I think, to arc him in. Steps in to call a halt to it. Phil Flynn in his corner protesting about shots to the back of the head. It'd be interested to see that one on the replay. But Craig Turner, when he stepped it up a gear, Ben, he's a real handful to deal with. This big, imposing figure coming out of the rough house, I believe. And wow, a real prospect. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after four minutes and 39 seconds of the very first round, your winner due to referee stoppage from ground and pound from the red corner Craig Duffer Turner but let's hear it for a very worthy challenger let's hear it for Phil Flynn Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here with your winner, Craig Turner. Craig clearly got a lot of support, and it must be really good for you to come here and put a performance like that on in front of all these great fans. It's unbelievable, man. You know what I mean? If people enjoy a night out to come and watch me then, I stand by me, you know what I mean? Fair play. I appreciate it. You know, the pleasure's mine. I just hope everyone has a good night. Hey, yo, I got a party after at Pyramid Lounge. Go see my missus, get yourself a wristband, and let's go get smashed. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Craig Turner.